Um, you know, I really can't comment on what's currently going on. I know it's an ongoing investigation. Um, you know, I had a chance to talk with him yesterday. Um, you know, he's devastated by it. You know, I think it shocked the room, shocked his team. Um, but, you know, we have to move on. Uh, we have Haas that's you know, taking the charge of the room right now. Um, you know that we have a lot going on uh, among the roster right now. So, got to find a way to put some pieces together and find a way to, to get a win this weekend. Each, I know this is, you know, a game where it's wins and losses and results oriented, but there's also, you know, people involved. You know, when you, when you know that Sean Cooper is a person and you work so long and so hard with him, what's it like to part ways with, with a guy that you've gone to battle with for yeah. so many years? I mean, although, you know, he's no longer a part of this, uh, this roster and this team, you know, the relationship is still still the same. Um, you know, I have respect for him. Uh, you know, this is the guy that drafted me. So, you know, I have an affinity to him, but at the same time, you know, this is a business. Uh, we're professionals, we're called to do certain things and, and act in a way, um, you know, that's becoming of the men of the uh, Again, you know, I, can't, I don't know any details about what happened, but, um, you know, what I'm currently worried about is the guys that are in this current room right now. You know, we have Coach Mack and the assistant, um, and like I said, Hyatt's who's going to be taking over the, you know, the room. We're going to find a way to get in uh, this weekend. That's what's most important. That's really